Hi everyone, I'm Giant Spain, and welcome back to my Let's Play Chrono Trigger Edition Part 17. Picking up where we left off after defeating um, the boss here at the end of this little area, we're going to go and jump into the pool uh, that was hiding behind him. And this will take us back out to our time period. Or, yeah, takes us over to Nancy's house. And we can go and uh, visit Nancy's house, even though Nancy's not with us right now. And uh, go upstairs and talk to her, her mom and her dad uh, to get a special present for Nancy. First, I explore a little bit. Oh, nothing here. Yeah. All I care about is her silly toys. So basically you have to come talk to the mom first, then uh, Tavin comes up, uh, and then you gotta go back downstairs and talk to him. And then once you talk to him, uh, you go ahead and you go ahead and hooks you up with uh, the thing you want to. There you go, Tavin vest for Nancy. Make our way back up. Go to the market real quick, buy a few things, get a reward from the guy that you saved earlier during your prison day, uh, who was stuck in the guillotine. Yeah. Now it pays. Now it pays off. Hmm. Oh yeah. Pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, dude, nothing happened here. Just uh, talking to this cool dude out here. Move along. Whatever I like. Hmm, let's see if I. This isn't my house. I didn't even say hi to my mom. I haven't seen my mama in a while. She's probably worried sick about me. No, that's not where I want to go. This isn't my house either. Where was my damn house? There it is. It's like right to the side. Chrono. Made me so worried. Go back to the house and uh, and take a quick nap. Since we're all a little worse for wear after that fight, you will get a free nap in my bed. Uh, the bed's only made for one person, but it's okay. Everybody can take a nap, and uh, or Robo, you can you can sleep on the floor because you're a robot. Show up. I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. Yellow the cat. Wow. <laughs> Alright. And uh, it's good to remember where the portals are in each of the different um, time periods and or like areas that you're in, because uh Lean Square is where the portal is. And, you know, that's where the original portal was when you first went through it, so it's, that's where it is whenever you come back here. It doesn't change. So we hop back through here, so that we can head back to the end of time. Oh look, 
I seem to do extra portals now. Going here and uh, talk, let's get Nancy back in our party first. See if I can. Uh, First, I need to change party members. I think about that the first time around. It's okay though. Annoyingly, you actually have to walk up to Nancy and talk to her, switch the party member. Even though he said, oh, just hit Y when you're in the end of the time, change party members, you actually physically have to walk up to the person that you want to change into your party and talk to them. Let's put some gear on Nancy. Okay, the best is better. I don't really know how many sites go on. Also, as you know, or as you noticed, um, Marley and Nancy have much better magic defense than Robo does, or Shobo. So, uh, they also, you know, not get hit quite as hard by magic tanks, just in general, because of that. Whereas Shobo is trying against physical attacks. Alright, little man. How am I doing? Oh, yeah. For some reason. Oh yeah, that's the day of Lavos. That's where you would fight the uh, Lavos, so I think it would be in boss. I think you can fight him around level 50 and beat him. The biggest uh, importance for fighting him is having a high magic defense. Because if you don't, then he'll just uh, demolish you with magic damage. Oh no! The little fucker hits hard. 157 damage. Damn. Okay. We're not done yet. Fool me once, midget. Shame on you. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get you this time. I wish I had some idea of how much uh, health Specchio had, though. I'm gonna have to start using the magic scarf on uh, Nancy now. Since the sight scope doesn't seem to be useful as far as boss fights go. Damn, Nancy. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Um, special refreshers. Yeah, magic tab and fire ethers. Thanks, little buddy. You're too kind. Let's go ahead and. No, I'll only use it on Marley. Yeah, Marley. No such thing as too much saving. Back to six hundred AD. And you thought we were done with this time period. Onslaught. <gasps> oh, well, that's, that was anticlimactic. Hmm. Yeah. Snag a few things. Ugh. Well, I actually snagged a few things this time. Oh, that's right, I forgot. So low a little time period, they don't have the, uh, mid-tonics here. Oh, well. I see that enough. We are at... The Zeehan Bridge. Or is that in Bridge? Or... Yeah, it's that in Bridge. Okay. Alright. Is someone else here on the phone? Nope. Yes, it's just that. Let's go check out the castle. So basically, talk to him, and he uh, tells you that they're running out of rations, so you run up to the castle. Uh, and then you to talk to the chef. Um, I didn't know what the chef was at first, Slaughterhouse-Stairs, and, you know, waste a little time doing that. Um, spend a little time wandering around the forest here, though. Could a little avoid getting any fights, so... Not as much as I could have. But yeah, so... Um, normally, to get to the chef, right, right from here where you come in, you'll just run to the right. And go downstairs. Because if you go to the left, you go to the Sultan's quarters. Or the barracks, or whatever you want to call them. Upstairs, there's, you know, of course nothing, um, except for the Queen's room and the Chancellor's room on both sides. The, uh, the kitchen, of course, is in the, in the bottom. Um, I don't know why I thought that the landscape of this place would have changed. Uh, <laughs> well, gee, why is there no kitchen here? This is strange. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I'm just like, where or where? Could it be... Hmm... Let's see... Go down this way. This. Alright, here we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. No pun intended. Alright, Chef, of course, has got nuts trying to get all this food. Get everything ready. Um, you talk to him and he's not too chatty. Uh, he doesn't really give you anything. I try talking to him some more. Uh, but basically, some of it is he talks to him a couple of times until he starts repeating himself. Then, uh, you go back upstairs and you just walk through the door like you're gonna leave. Um, and then he'll catch you on your way out and be like, here, take this. And I'll hand you some uh, jerky rations for the troops. And then you can go back um, to the bridge and talk to the captain in gold. And he'll give you do a gold helmet that you can wear uh, before you start helping them fight the monsters. So here it comes. Yeah. Let's try forget to use your power tab too. Is there a nice? But still sealed. I do not have the right uh, equipment yet to open that. But anyway, uh, that concludes this edition of Let's Play Chrono Trigger Part 17. As always, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time on Part 18.